Yo, 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 what is up guys? It's Coach Cam and today I wanna to go over pulling exercises and more specifically the attachments that you use when you perform pulling exercises. So here I'm gonna show you some attachments that I have in my home gym and why you might be finding that your grip is weak and your grip is bad and you keep failing because of your grip and because of that, it's caused you to try to change your training by using straps, by trying to train your forearms and people giving you all kinds of advice like, oh, your forearms will catch up or you should train them directly or your back's supposed to be stronger than your forearms, whatever that means. I'm gonna dive into that in this video. So first, let me go over these attachments that I have and why some are better than others. All right, so this first attachment here is just a basic lat pull-down bar right here. And this is very common in most gyms and pretty much everybody uses these except usually they're a silver color and not black. This one came with a set, so it's black. If you check here and look right where you attach the carabiner, you see how this spins? This rotates. Which you might think, oh, it's not a big deal, Cameron. Like, who cares? Well, it matters because what's going to happen is you're going to grab this bar for lap pull downs. And right when you go to start the exercise, it's going to spin back on you. And you're going to be holding it with your fingertips, okay? Especially when you add a couple hundred pounds on the end of the bar. So you don't want this to roll into your weakest possible position. But it's going to do that no matter what, because once again, it spins. So this is a problem. Next, let's go into the next bar. <clears throat> this is essentially the same thing, but a shorter bar. This has a whole fair carabiner also, and this also spins. This whole piece rotates like this, and that is bad. Why? Because it's going to do the exact same thing. It's gonna try to peel your fingers off of the bar. Even if you start with the perfect grip, once you start the exercise, boom, it's gonna pull back and your fingers are gonna be holding on for dear life. So the only exercise in which you want a bar that rotates like this is for cable curls, okay? When you're doing cable curls from a low pulley like this, standing cable curls, that is it. Every other exercise, tricep pushdowns, lat pulldowns, seated cable rows, you want a bar that does not spin on you. Next, easy cable bar. This thing spins, okay? So this is gonna spin on you, but it feels perfect for bicep curls. It's okay for tricep pushdowns. It's not really necessary that it spins, but it's not a problem. It's a problem for back. It's a problem for your forearms with lat pull down and rows. Next, we have what's called a D handle. This same thing. This thing will spin on you and this nylon will just rotate as you're holding it for an exercise. So this is gonna do the same exact thing. Your hands are gonna be slipping out. It's not a problem if you train easy, but if you're gonna train hard and train to failure, this is gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a limiting factor. And you'll see people at the gym with wrist straps on to hold this to their hands. I've done it. I've attached straps to this before. That's because this, the attachment is retarded. So just don't use these unless you absolutely have to. And if you do, you need to use straps. Finally, we have this little bar. And this is the only one I have currently that is welded together. You see that weld? This does not spin. This entire bar is one piece, it is one bar. So I use this bar for lat pull downs. I use this bar for seated cable rows and it doesn't slip out of your hands because it has nowhere to go. There is no turning, there's no spinning, there's no rotation. That is what you want in a bar for lat pull downs or for seated cable rows. The rest of these are going to give you problems. They're going to make you think that your forearms are weak and that you need to train your grip and you have a problem. You don't have a problem. These attachments are the problem. So hopefully in this video, you can better understand why your forearms are giving out, okay? It's not because you're a weak person. It's not because your back is so much stronger 
in your forearms. It's literally because the attachments that are most commonly found in gyms, most commonly sold online for you to use, rotate out of your hands and immediately go to your worst possible grip and are constantly trying to pry your fingers open with hundreds of pounds attached to them to help them do so. Instead, use a bar that is welded together and I promise you, message me and write in the comments your results and the changes you made because it will be a night and day difference. Okay, that's just like every pull-up bar, right? Here, I have a pull-up bar in my garage gym right here. If this bar spun every time I grabbed it, I would be horrible at pull-ups and I would constantly have grip issues. But instead, I do not have grip issues because my bar doesn't spin. So you need to get a bar also that does not spin. This will help you so much in lat pull-downs and in rows. You won't have to use straps. You can be confident that you can actually pull the weight you're, you're setting it up for and you can do it to failure. The only other reason your forearms will be giving out is because you train too often. If you train too often, your forearms aren't getting enough rest and recovery to be able to adapt and grow. So that's kind of my soapbox on this. I've been trying to post about it on Instagram, but I wanted to do an in-depth video so that more people can fully understand what I'm talking about and why it's ridiculous to me that all these attachments are horrible for your forearms but are so widespread and common amongst gyms. So that's my soapbox. Hope you guys learned something today. Try to find bars that are welded together. If you have to buy them on your own and bring them to the gym, that's totally fine. I've brought a bar to the gym before. If you need to do it for your own workout and for the purposes of you making gains, then do it. Forget everybody else. Who cares what they think? You want the best possible results and a fixed piece of equipment is going to help you do that.